and welcome to our Fusion 360 tutorial. Traditionally, complex outline geometries require that the mechanical and the electronic engineer endeavor into file conversions. With Fusion 360, you can easily capture the enclosure geometry and adapt it to your PCB workspace. I'll start the process by using the browser and add a few bodies from the tool to expose the intended surface that I would like to project. Since the board will be resting on these standoffs, I'll need to define an offset plane. Click on Construct, Offset Plane, and click on the surface of the standoff. With the plane defined, I'll now use the Sketch tool and select the plane that I just defined. From the Create pull-down menu, please select the option project. Click on the surface you would like to project. The standoff geometry was also projected as an opening on my profile. I'll need to proceed to delete these holes. Then I'll use the projection tool one more time to only project the intended threaded hole at the center of every standoff. From the toolbar, I'll use the offset tool to shrink my sketch profile into the size that I'll be using on my circuit board. After offsetting my initial projected surface, I'm going to use the line command just to make one more modification to my shape. Since my projected profile shape is completed, I'll finish my sketch. Then click on the Create Pulldown menu and use the Create 3D PCB. Now I'll select the profile or profiles that I want to use for my circuit board. For my example, I'm only selecting one profile. After clicking OK, the 3D PCB editor will load with the selected profile. Click on the File pull down menu and select the option New Electronic Project. From the electronic panel, create a new schematic followed by creating a brand new board. Now, return to the electronic panel and save. This will force all assets associated to this project to save. Return to the 3D PCB tab and use the option called Link to 2D PCB. And select your saved PCB that you would like to associate. After a few seconds, the outline will now appear in your 2D PCB workspace. To demonstrate a few more of the electromechanical design capabilities in Fusion 360, I will return to the schematic editor and add a few components. Please notice that this will automatically update the board. I'll define a group, left click and hold on one of the components, and move them into the imported outline. After saving our progress, I'll go ahead and push the update to our 3D PCB. After a few moments, the components will appear populated on our PCB. On the 3D PCB editor, I have some editing capabilities that I would like to show you. From the toolbar, I'm going to select the option Flip 3D PCB Component. And I'll click on one of the parts that have been used. Notice that the asset appears on the opposite side, but the landing continues to appear on the original side. This will be fixed once we sync up with our PCB. Push the change over to the 2D PCB, just as we did earlier. On the board editor, you're going to notice that one of the components appears on the bottom layer, clearly identified by the blue colored surface mounted pads. Now, Let's do one final update to our 3D editor. After a few seconds, on the 3D image, the components will appear on opposing layers. All this and more with Fusion 360.